Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm gonna do an empties video. Um, this is actually, I kind of forgot to do this last month, so this is a combination of things that I melted and emptied and finished up and whatever from February up until now, which is like mid-March. Um, and some of this might include some end of January as well. I'm trying to remember the exact dates of when I started to actually keep uh, what I melted and keep those empty containers in a box that I have uh, in my living room. So I just stick things in that box when I'm done melting it. Um, so this might be a, I'm gonna try to make this not a long video. I'm not gonna really go into scent descriptions or anything like that. Um, I will just be giving my kind of, you know, my review, my impressions, whether or not uh, it was a good throw or not, if I can remember. Um, I did kind of try to take some notes in the beginning and then that kind of, nah, that didn't really <laughs> pan out too much. Um, so let me start. Um, looking at my empties, I did a lot of um, L3 Waxy Wonders, um, candles from the Keeping Room, uh, Super Tarts, Vintage Cheek Scents, Candy Panda, Scoopable Tart Wax, Sassy Girl. Um, so mostly my empties are going to be from those vendors. These, again, are not going to be the only things I melted this these past couple months. These are just, you know, just basically the empties that I have. So let me start off. This is uh, from Super Tarts. Um, this is Once Upon a Time, Serendipity, Ice Cream Scoop Bread, and Marshmallow. And I did make a note here. Um, uh, I said the top notes on this, but it was warned was the Ice Cream Scoop Bread. And it had a medium throw for the first couple of hours, and then um, kind of a lighter to medium. Actually, it was like more of a medium high for the first couple of hours, and then more medium for the remaining time. And I said it was creamy and sweet. Um, yeah, so this one, I don't know if, I'll, if, I'll, if I'm just gonna repurchase this one, I'm not sure. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't bad. I think I'm just not really huge on serendipity or ice cream scoop bread, so yeah, this one, I'm not sure. It was good, it's just not my, not my normal thing. Um, I also had like a scent shot of White Walkers. I do have a, um, I got a super pan of White Walkers that I've already chopped up and I've been melting through that. White Walkers is really great if you're needing a like nice, sweet, minty kind of a blend to melt. Um, it's really great in the winter. It's really great if you've got a stuffy nose or if you have a headache, it's really nice. Or if you just don't want anything that's too like sweet, you know? Like I, I do a lot of fruity and bakery sweet stuff that sometimes it's just nice to break that up with a nice minty blend. Um, so this is really good. And that is definitely a repurchase. I mean, like I said, I have a super pan, but I will definitely repurchase that. Um, this was a sample I got in a recent Super Tarts order. This is Queen Regina. I do this, I do have this in a clam, but I wanted to melt the sample first to see if I liked it because in the clam on cold, I wasn't a huge fan. And so I might be de-stashing it and wanted to melt the sample first. Um, I melted this in my bathroom in a plug-in nightlight warmer. Um, it threw in that warmer really nicely. Like it really filled up my bathroom really nicely. Um, but I did pick up on the leather note in it, which just wasn't my favorite. So I think I will probably most likely de-stash the full clam that I have. Um, this is another one from Super Tarts. This is Wasp. Let me focus. Um, this one I liked. Um, I, I Let me see if I remember what the scent notes. It's some sort of a, um, I'm gonna say it's some sort of a like a, it reminds me kind of like a summer and sand type of a pink sugary, summery type of a note where it's got that kind of, and it doesn't have coconut in it, but it kind of has that like almost beachy vibe to me. I can't remember the scent notes, but um, I melted this in my kitchen in a Glade hot plate warmer and it threw really well. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna hurt, you know, buy this on the site. Maybe I will. Um, but it was just kind of, for me, it was just like, okay. I don't think I was really in the mood for it. Um, this is Loki Tricks, Loki's Tricks, which is lemon ice box pie, Tricks, and frosted rose jam. I will absolutely repurchase this. Um, I love rose jam. The lemon ice box in there and the Tricks gave it that nice sort of citrusy, lemon citrusy, you know, zestiness to it, which just brightens up the rose jam. So a definite repurchase and it was a strong thrower. President Snow is peppermint cream, white rose, and vanilla ice cream. Um, this one wasn't as strong as I was hoping it would be. I really liked it warmed. Um, the peppermint cream and the white rose really come out nicely and make a really nice blend together. And that vanilla ice cream made it creamy. Um, but it wasn't as strong of a thrower. Maybe, you know, I did it in my living room in three different warmers. 
Maybe next time I try doing it in a smaller room, like a bathroom or a bedroom, and see how it performs in a smaller area. But I will definitely repurchase this because it was a really nice um, scent that came out. Uh, mass ears, I did finish up a cam of mass ears. I have a super pan of this and wanted to use this up first before I chop into the lovely and beautiful super pan that I have. Um, I actually melted this because for St. Patrick's Day, we did a corned beef and cabbage in the crock pot. And if you guys have ever made that, you know it's like potent. <laughs> like my whole house just smelled like, you know, corned beef and cabbage. So I did this in both the kitchen and the living room. The kitchen was totally a lost cause because it was just so, the crock pot smells were just so strong that like even mouse ears couldn't cut through that. But this did really well in my living room to cut through like the cooking smells that were going on. So um, definitely, you know, and sorry, I'm all shaking all over the place. I'm on the floor here. Um, but definitely pick this up if you like that sweet, fresh lemon and you need like something good to sort of freshen up the house. Um, this is a really, really good one. Um, next is Scream. Um, Scream is Sweet Tarts raspberry zinger and strawberry cake this is a repurchase and i will certainly repurchase this one again this has a really nice strong throw um it um i mean the raspberry and the sweet tarts really just i mean it's it's a nice sweet fruity it's really yummy um this is a really good one i love this i always make sure i have a backup of this because it's so good so if you like fruity like that sweet tart fruitiness and you like raspberry zinger um definitely get this Okay, so next is Nova Prime. I have a super pan of this as well. I wanted to use up my clamshell before I busted into that. And this is Bakery Shop Sweet sweet Lemon Meringue and Blackberry Cream. Um, this is really good. I mean, I definitely get that like lemon meringue and the blackberry and like mixed with those bakery notes. It's a really strong performer in my house at least. Um, I usually do this in my living room and then I also melt it in my kitchen just so that my whole house is like Nova Prime Central. <laughs> um, but this is really, 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 really good. Okay, um, this is Gollum. This is one of the Omen blends where it's the Omen that's blended with sweet blackberries. I always do this one in the bathroom um, and it's really good. I, I'm not usually a big spa scent person, but the blackberries in this make it so, like make it such a nice sweet spa scent that is just really, really lovely. Um, and this one's a really good performer in my bathroom, so a definite repurchase for me. Next is Laveau, and this is uh, lavender cream and raw sugar crystal buttercream. Um, this one was really, I was surprised by this one. I, I liked it um, more than I thought I would. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this one, um, mainly because I have other lavender cream blends that I like more, that I have backups of and stuff that I just prefer. Um, but I think this would make a really good product in her bath and body stuff. Um, I could see or that could be really nice as a perfume or as a lotion or, or I'm sorry, a body butter. Um, so this one was good. It just wasn't my favorite of her lavender cream blends. Okay, so next let me move on to L3. I have a lot of L3 because I had a lot of um, scent shot type stuff too. Um, pineapple Camu Camu. I mean, this was a good one. It was just nice, fruity, citrusy tropical. Um, the pineapple was a stronger note on that one. Dreamweaver. I don't remember this one. I don't remember the scent notes in this one. I get a little bit of a fizzy note when I smell the bag. I don't know if it has a fizzy note in it. Um, since I can't really remember this one, I didn't make notes on it. Um, I mean, maybe that is self-explanatory then that I can't remember it. Um, this one, pretzel, butter, brickle, pink sugar, uh, was my first pretzel and my first butter brickle blend and I did not care for this one. Um, I think it's either the pretzel or it's the butter brickle that I don't care for. I'm not sure which note it is or maybe it's both but I will not um, seek this one out again. Rainbow sherbet and strawberry passion. This one is really nice fruity. You get that rainbow sherbet. You get that strawberry in there. Um, surprisingly though this one was not as strong as I thought it was going to be considering that a lot of times rainbow sherbet blends for me perform really well in my house. Um, they just throw really nicely. Um, but this one, maybe it was a little bit of a dud. I mean, on cold, it was it smelled really nice. So I don't know, maybe I should have let it cure a little bit longer. 
but um, this was a little bit of a sad one for me. Kind of a dud. Um, strawberry jam, warm vanilla sugar. This one was really good. I was surprised by this one. Um, the strawberry jam was really strong. The warm vanilla sugar just added some nice warmth to it, that kind of warm vanilla to it. Um, this one performed really well. I did this one in my kitchen and it blew everything out. Um, like everything that I was melting in my living room, this one just totally blew those out of the water. So absolutely, I will look for this one again. It was really good. Um, and this one is strawberry, blueberry, sugar plum. I made notes on this one. Um, this one was just a light to medium throw. I said the sugar plum was the top note for me and then I got the strawberry, or not the, yeah, and then I got the strawberry. Blueberry didn't really come out too much on warm. Um, Tron was a sample that I got uh, with an order. This is, I just wrote it was a strong, oops, a strong, yummy, and fruity sweet scent, a medium high throw. I'm trying to remember, okay. Um, this one, strawberry jam, lemon tea, and cakes was a medium high throw. Um, it was a really good, like nice balance with the strawberry and the tea and cakes. And then there was a slight lemon note. I love tea and cake blends and I think she has a really good tea and cake um, note in there or oil that she uses. So this one I would really repurchase again as well. Um, cranberry, marmalade, lingonberry. I don't know what lingonberry is, but I said this was a medium throw. It was strong for the first two hours and then it kind of unfortunately took on a little bit of a more chemical kind of a wax smell, kind of plasticky. Um, but I said that for the first two hours that it performed well, the lingonberry, which is what I'm assuming was the lingonberry, was the predominant note and it was really nice. Like it makes me kind of want to seek out some more blends that have lingonberry because um, it was just a really nice one. And this was, for me, it was a little bit more of a um, kind of a, a seasonal kind of Christmas type of a, of a blend. I did it a little bit after that time uh, and I'm a seasonal warmer, but this was, it was good. It was good for the first two hours though. And then this one, blueberries and uh, blueberries and cream and whipped cream. I said it was strong for the first couple hours. It was kind of a medium throw. And then um, I mostly got the creamy blueberry. Um, and I did this one in the kitchen. Okay, and then I did a, I got a whole bunch of, um, when, when L3 Waxy Wonders opened up their site for, this was kind of a while back for, um, you can order scent shots, and she had tons and tons of different scent options. Um, I kind of went a little crazy and got a whole bunch, so I've been trying to melt through some of those. Um, this one is Fairy Dust, Mimosa, and Mandarin, and this was kind of a, um, a little bit of a fizzy, citrusy one. Um, it wasn't as strong, though, as I would have preferred. Creature of the Night. I don't remember what this one was. This one was some sort of a berry. Um, this one was good. It wasn't um, a favorite, though. Artemis's Arrow, Wildberry Mousse, Raspberry Zinger. I really liked this one. I liked her Raspberry Zinger. I think that came out the most when I did this one. And a lot of these scent shots I warmed in my kitchen, which is a 20-watt uh, a, uh, glade warmer. Ginger Peach, I actually got a lot. I ordered a lot of these because I was trying to um, replicate or find a stand-in substitute for Pure One Imports Ginger Peach Home Fragrance. And this one's pretty close. So I melted this one. I, I do a half scent shot each time I melt it. And this one performed really well in my kitchen. So I'm really glad that I bought uh, multiple scent shots of this one. Um, Orphan Black, I don't remember this one. This one is good. I, I don't remember what's in it, but um, it's fruity, sweet. Um, it was good. I don't remember too much more other than that though. Nice list was pink sugar chiffon. Um, yeah, I got the pink chiffon most. Um, I don't remember melting this one. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Rose Dan, this was another one that I ordered multiple of um, during that scent shot order. Um, this one was a good one. It doesn't perform as strong as other Rose Jams um, wax that I have from other vendors, but it's definitely a true to, like it's a true dupe to the Rose Jam from Lush. I'm sorry, I have my child in the background playing. <laughs> uh, Traumaville High, I don't remember what was in this one as what the notes in this one were. I remember it was like a bright chartreuse wax though. And this one is really strong. Um, it's a citrusy type of a, of a scent really nice and strong. I had a couple of these that I ordered and they are gone already. 
Um, okay, moving on to candles from the keeping room. I melted a bunch of samples because Carol is very generous when you order from her um, to provide lots of samples of some new scents that she has and scents that she's gonna have in upcoming stocks, uh, or restocks, I should say. Um, so I wanted to make sure I went through and melted some of those samples so I knew what I would want to melt, or uh, melt, <laughs> what I would want to order next time. Um, Three Wishes tea was really good, nice and strong. Um, a little bit more of a perfumey tea note. Um, so if you don't really like kind of the more perfumey type of a tea scent, then you wouldn't like this, but I really like this and I would certainly buy it um, as an order. Monster Jam was really good. Um, it's basically like every kind of mishmash of berry you can think of mashed into a jam, and it was nice and sweet. Um, it wasn't as strong of a thrower, thrower as other other um, wax scents that I have from her, but this was really, it was a really beautiful, fruity jam scent. Skittles type, I mean, it smelled just like Skittles, more like the citrus type Skittles. Um, so this is really good. I did this one in my kitchen as well and was just really nice and bright and fruity and zesty. Coconut rum cake, this was a, new, a newer scent for her. Um, this one was really good. It definitely has that like rum, that like boozy type of a scent to it and mixed in with that coconut. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy this though or order this, um, mainly because it's just not my type of a, of a scent, but this was a really strong performer and it was really good. It's just not my, not up my alley. Um, pineapple banana, it was also really good. I didn't get much of the banana. I got mostly the pineapple, but it was, um, it performed really well in my kitchen. So, you know, this is one that I would add into my order, but it's not one I'm gonna like go after and try to get first to make sure I don't miss it. You know what I mean? Um, wedding cake was really good. This was not a, like some wedding, like some like white cake notes uh, or oils I should say have kind of a cherry type note to me sometimes this one does not have that it was really like a, a white cake with frosting um, so this was really good and um, yeah it was really good yum yum buttery rum was really good it was another one of those rum butter you know boozy type of a scent um, this one was a little bit more caramel um, based than the other rum one that I just mentioned so this one I would prefer I think I prefer over the other one and maybe it's the coconut note in the other one that I didn't really like mixed in with the rum, but this one was good. Okay, moving on uh, to Sassy Girl. I had, I was, I've been melting a lot of my chunk bags from Sassy, but I haven't really emptied any of those out yet, which is why I'm not featuring them, featuring them in this video. But I did melt some of these like samples that she included with orders in my kitchen. Um, so I did blueberry jam, which was good. Blueberry meringue tort, which was good. Which one did I like better? I think I like this one better than the blueberry jam. Um, pink mimosa is a type from, I guess it's that Bath and Body Works. Um, this one was really strong. It definitely took on a perfumey note and I melted this in my kitchen and it was like weird to me. <laughs> I mean like, no, the pink mimosa, like this performed really well, but I should have done it in the bathroom or a bedroom and not in my kitchen. Um, in my kitchen, I just prefer to do either fruity notes or bakery type blends. I don't do perfume blends in there. So this one was just like, I, it was my fault that I warmed it in the wrong place. But um, this one was really strong. I actually had to turn off my warmer um, a little bit because it was blowing out the kitchen. Um, blueberry lemon sugar. This one was good. It wasn't as strong as I was thinking it would be, um, but it was certainly good. Uh, and it's funny because a lot of the samples that I've gotten from her recently have been blueberry based. Um, okay, I melted a few of my Candy Panda um, wax. I did Candy Fairy, which is a dupe of Snow Fairy from Lush. Um, this one was a strong performer. I did this one in my daughter's bedroom. Um, I, you know, did I cut the scent shot in half and did one in each of my daughter's rooms, and it performed really well. Um, daydreaming, I also halved this one and I actually did it in two warmers in my living room. Um, and I love this scent on cold, but it did not throw very well. It wasn't very strong in my living room. So either I need to do this one in a bedroom where it's a smaller space or I just need to let it cure longer. Champagne Rose Parade, I also did this one in my bedroom and it was really nice. Um, it was like a bubbly rose jam, not as sweet of a rose jam as rose jam, but you definitely get a little bit of that fizziness in there. Um, this is really good. 
Blackberry Sage was a sample I got. Um, and this one was also really good. I uh, think I'm up to this in my bedroom. Yeah, I'm up to this in my bedroom. I prefer, prefer, oh my God, you guys, I can't speak today. I prefer <laughs> Girl Inform Me over this one, which Girl Inform Me, if I remember, is Blackberry Sage and Marshmallow Ween. And this is just the Blackberry Sage. So I prefer the sweetness of the marshmallow added in to, to this. Um, but this one was still good. Okay, and then I had a Monster Cookie Sampler from Scoopable Tart Wax. Um, so I went through some of those. Again, these I did in my kitchen. And for most of these, I just scooped out the whole thing um, and put it in my warmer. I know some people only scoop out half, but I just, I didn't want to have to deal with like the messiness of scooping it out. And yeah, you know, I just wanted to like pop the whole thing out. So American Americana Marshmallow Smoothie. This one was really good. I remember this one performed really well in my kitchen. Um, from Rose Girls, I do have a chunk bag of, of this. And um, yeah, this one was good. Sorry, guys. Um, now I have Berry Lovely Monster Cookie. This one was good, too. Um, I think with her Monster Cookie stuff, I think I prefer the more gourmand notes with her monster cookie as opposed to like adding berry notes in with the monster cookie. I think that's just personal preference for me, but this one performed really well. Um, monster cookie fluff puffs was really good. Um, definitely, definitely will repurchase this in like a 10 ounce jar. <laughs> Wackadoodle scoopable wax, um, or of course it's scoopable, Wackadoodle. It's one of her like staple blends. Um, this one absolutely would repurchase and get that in a 10 ounce jar as well. Although, I think if I remember correctly, and maybe it's not a 10 ounce jar, maybe it's an eight ounce jar that she sells for $10. I think that's what it is. But I think she's switching totally to four ounce jars. So I would just, I would buy multiple four ounce jars of this because it's really good. This one though was my favorite of the sampler so far that I've melted. This is Oatmeal Raisin Monster. And this one is so good. I mean, this is like a perfect fall bakery blend for me. It's sweet and cookie and spicy, and you get the oatmeal in there. I don't really know what raisin smells like as a single note, but it's, it's like I said, kind of got that like spicy oatmeal cookie. Oh, it's just really good. Really, really good. Um, okay, we are almost done, and I'm sorry if I'm talking like 500 million miles a minute. I'm just trying to make sure that this is not going to be an hour-long video. All right, so from Vintage Chic Scents, I um, got a bunch of stuff in a D, D, ugh, a D stash, so I've been trying to melt through some of that just to know what I, what I would want to try to purchase in a restock if it comes up. So Little Briar Rose, um, and this was a rose that I had, and I just quartered it and put it in my warmers downstairs. Um, performed really well. I love the like the pomegranate and the apple notes in there. Um, this is just really good and I, I actually melted this one and loved it so much that I in another D stash got a um, like a like a deluxe blossom bag or something um, some kind of size like that of this blend so this is really really good Lafitte's blacksmith shop also really good a really nice performer you'll notice that these have been carrying for a really long time um, again because I got these in a D stash and that's a huge plus to getting VCS from D stashes is that they've usually already had a chance to cure and you can just melt them as soon as you get them and don't have to wait. I'm really impatient, so I hate having to wait for wax to cure if I can help it. Um, but this one is really good. I will certainly look out for this in a future restock. Um, Margo's Lavender Supreme. This is like the only one that I think I wrote notes on. I said, yeah, this was um, like orange and lavender. I think it's like an orange sherbet and lavender. But I said the creamy orange was the strongest note on warm. It was a really nice blend, a great throw, like a medium to medium high throw. Um, absolutely would repurchase it or buy this in a restock if she offers it soon. Really good. Um, I got this as a freebie from a D stash. This is Pebbles and Bam Bam. And this is the, I melted this thinking I was gonna hate it because I thought, um, kind of stupidly I thought that I was not gonna like cereal blends and I've always stayed away from every cereal cereal blend that a vendor has because I just figured I wouldn't like it and then I melted this and thought you are an absolute idiot 
this cereal blend is amazing. So ever since I melted this, now I've been basically on the prowl for all these different cereal blends to try to see which ones I like. Um, and VCS's most recent March restock, um, I got a Good Morning Loaf because it's got some cereal notes in there. So yeah, this is, like I said, kind of the, the one that introduced me to cereal as a wax and made me fall in love with it. So this was really, really good. And it performed really well. Strawberry Jackie O, I have this in a loaf, um, but wanted to melt through. This was like a freebie that I got. And um, actually, if you guys saw my most recent Vintage Cheek Scents d -Sash video that I posted, this was actually the, sam the freebie that the seller put in there. So I already went ahead and melted it. Um, and it's really good. It's just a creamy, marshmallowy strawberry. And it's just, you know, ugh, I love her strawberry oil that she uses or her strawberry notes in there. It's just so sweet and so beautiful. And yes, 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 love it. Vaudeville, um, this was one that I got from uh, as a freebie from a seller. And I melted this and realized, oh my God, I love vaudeville. So then I had to go out and buy all this other vaudeville and tea stashes. So I have so much vaudeville now. But this I find really great to mix with other um, other blends. And it just makes gives it a nice kind of creaminess to it. It's kind of like a wild berry creaminess to it. Um, this is really good though, really, really good. Um, Grandma's Pearls, this was nice. I melted this in my bedroom. It was just a nice soothing sweet marshmallowy lavender and it was really good um, and then I this was another freebie I got of Lancelot and Guinevere or maybe this wasn't a freebie maybe this was part of I think I got I think this kind of came with like a Lancelot and Guinevere rose that I got from a D stash um, anyway so this is basically just vanilla lace it smells like vanilla lace I did this one in my bedroom which is a small, I mean, I don't have a huge bedroom or anything, and I keep my doors closed so that way if I am melting wax, it doesn't like mix with whatever I'm melting downstairs that carries up into the upstairs. Um, this did not perform well though. I didn't get much of a scent throw, and this, I mean, this bad boy is like over a year old, so I don't know. I don't know if maybe it was just because um, this was like a one ounce. I mean, I don't know, that's simply how much I melt. Or if maybe this was just too old. I mean, I don't know. I see people on her web, her um, Facebook group page that melt things that are like two years old and still perform well. So I don't know. This, unfortunately, I love vanilla lace and I loved how this smelled on cold. It just did not throw at all when I warmed it. Okay, the last two ones um, here are my empties from Zayt Bath was a sample of Sweetheart. Um, I did this one in the kitchen and this one was also really good. Um, but I do have this in a bigger, like she offered it in like a chunky heart. Um, so I do have that. I wanted to just melt the sample first. So this did good. And then this was kind of just a different one. This is from Bourbon and Bows, which is a, a smaller vendor that I found on Instagram. And I got, they had like a, um, like an elf sampler around Christmas time that I ordered, uh, or in December, I guess. And so this was Santa, I know him. And this was really good. It's kind of like a minty, fizzy, a, a fizzy mint kind of a blend. This was really good. I did this one in the bedroom and it was strong. So I know that they're having a, I think they have a restock going on right now, which today's the first day of spring. Um, so maybe check them out. They're kind of lesser known, but, um, what I've melted from them, I've had good throw and I've had good performance for the most part, at least in my bedroom. Um, I don't know how it does in a bigger space, but in my bedroom, I haven't had any problems with their wax. So, whew, that was like 28 minutes of me rambling and I'm like all out of breath now, but those are all of my empties from basically the end of January until now, the middle of March. Um, like I said, it's not everything I've melted. These are just the things that I've finished off. So thank you guys for sticking around this long. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know, what are you guys melting? What are you loving? I would love to hear from you. Okay, bye guys, have a great day.